Hello, beautiful, and welcome to makeup. Oh yes, peel off is back. Everybody's favorite makeup's goddess is back on your cameras to bless your screens with some just perfection in every shape, way, and form. So for today's video, I have had a lot of requests asking for peel off to do like a Tim Burton kind of look. So instead of doing one of his characters that already exists, peel off thought to herself, you know what? Peel off is an absolute character. Let's be honest. Why don't I paint my face as if I was a character in one of Tim Burton's, like, masterpieces? Yes, Pilof is a masterpiece, so she deserves to be a Tim Burton masterpiece. So with all of that said and done, let's just get on to the makeup! So the first thing we have to do for the makeup tutorial is... Everybody brace yourself because I am about to look all kinds of messed up with this headband. I just, I need my hair out of the way. Peel off, prepare yourself. <laughs> oh, it is worse than usual. The longer my hair gets, the worse it gets is a cockatoo. Look at what is that? <laughs> now that that is out of the way to really like give us a good base, a good canvas to work with because when it comes to makeups or body paints or anything like that, the art is what you put on your face. But your face is the canvas. So because of that, my brows are in my way so we get to get rid of them. Oh, it has been so long since Pilof has done this and really I've missed it. I just, I, I love it. I love it so much. So all I do to do this is I just get some glue. I get a really sharp kind of comb that is used for brows, I think. I'm not sure. And then I just kind of brush them up, wait for them to dry and then get some baby boom powder and then just pound it into my face. Glue is feeling nice and tacky. So I just have some baby boom powder and I'm just going to pour some into my hand. Once again, I know that well too late now. I know that I should be getting a container to put this afterwards. But like once I say, <laughs> as I've already said, I'm a messy little goddess. So I just get a little sponge and then I just press it down and then I press it down. I just, I don't know why, but I just love this feeling. Apparently because there is like a stress point in like the middle of your forehead where, where I have some little eruption boys happening. So like maybe it is because I'm constantly pressing my little stress point in the middle of my forehead, which is why I love doing my brows so, so much. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. The more you know. Now that the first layer is on, I'm just going to do this a few more times. So this is the second layer. Layer three. Brows are looking ever so fabulous, ever so smooth, and I just love this feeling. And now that I have like a cute little handful of baby boom powder, now the brows are looking fabulous. I've slipped into a cute little crop top. That way I can really just emphasize everything and just carry the face through to the body and just, ah, oh, all of the magnificence. So one thing that I love to do is to wear contact lenses because it is like an accessory, really. Like you just, you put them in, you can take on a whole new persona, a whole new character and just like, I just, I love contact lenses so much. So, because Tim Burton characters have like lots of white and then beady little pupils, but no like real color around them. Like if I study the like illustrations enough, I am going to be using some of my TTD eye contact lenses. I have done, I've used a lot of these lenses before. I love them so, so much. And if you, if you're interested in purchasing some contact lenses, I do have a discount code. I will leave it in the description. I will leave it pinned in the comments down below as well, just in case you are interested. If you're not interested, that is a okay with me. But either way, for those who are interested in wearing some contact lenses, please be careful when wearing them. Please prepare them properly. Please use them properly. Because at the end of the day, we only get one pair of eyeballs. You do not want to ruin those eyeballs. They are precious. They are precious commodities. They help you see the world and all of its magnificence and beauty. And if you ruin those eyeballs, you cannot see peel off. And really, like, that is, that is a nightmare in the making. So with these contact lenses, you do get them in this cute little holographic box. And then inside the box, these are ones that I have yet to, like, prepare because I have not used them yet. But you do get them in this cute little plastic container. What you want to do with them is you want to open them up, get some contact lens solution. I just get this from, like, the, I get this from, like, Kohl's or Woolies. And then, like, I think it was, like, $13 or so. Like, quite inexpensive in comparison to, like, how many uses you get out of it. Once you have this, 
you get a cute little contact lens pouch so all you have to do is put this into a contact lens pouch and then you put the contact lens into that and leave it for at least eight hours at least eight hours this prepares them softens them just cleans them and makes it okay and safe to put on your eyeballs and then before you put on any of the eye makeups you want to put the contacts on first that way like you do not accidentally get any of the makeups into your eyeball between the contact and your actual ball and then just you don't want that so always be careful when using contacts always just safeguard your beautiful little eyeballs so therefore before I put on any of the makeups I'm putting on the contact lenses first now that I have had that little PSA and rundown I am going to put them on off camera just because like I don't want anyone like seeing me stick something in my eye because like I would not want to watch that so I thought that anyone else would want to watch that but if you do want a more in detail like scope and look at how to apply contacts and prepare them I can do that in a separate video I can have a whole video dedicated to it if you would like just let me know down in the comments with all that said and done let's change my Contact lenses are now in and I can safely say that I am looking scary as hell. If I look at a lot of like Tim Burton characters, I notice that like everyone is surprisingly pale, which like, hello, I am here. But also everyone seems to have their own like kind of undertone, if that makes sense. Like Corpse Bride is like a blue kind of undertone. So if I Google the psychology of colors, I look at Violet and I see imagination, spirituality, compassion, sensitivity, and mystery which i feel so that sums me up like correct enough also i just want to do this as purple so like so i'm going to get some foundations and i'm also going to get some purple kind of body paint and i'm going to try and mix it together that way like i am pale but also with like a purpley undertone is it going to work with foundation i have no idea am i going to regret this decision possibly Excuse me, sir. Is this idea going to be incredibly hard to replicate once all of this foundation color is on my face? Yes. Do I care? No, particularly at the moment. Okay, that is... Yeah, it kind of works for the purpose that I am going for. And then I'm just going to get the foundation brush and then I'm going to try and blend it into my skin so that I am nice and kind of purpley. I look absolutely mantle. What? Why did I think this was a good idea? So what I'm going to do with the eye makeups is I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail makeups palette, my Morphe 35 Color Burst B palette, but also I'm going to go in with some of my Jawbreaker. <laughs> jawbreaker palettes as well, because there are some nice purples throughout like both of these, and like I just... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this brush. I think it, what are you a smudger of brush look if the brush does the trick I'm not going to judge so I just have my little handheld mirror Ooh. And then I'm just going to get what color am I getting? I am going to get I'm going to get on this palette this color This purple I lost all the names ages ago I will attempt to find those names and then just like put them in the description But at the same time like I am very very lazy just go with the dark purple, but not the darkest purple It's like a royal purple. Ooh, and then I'm just going to carve out a new eye shape now the peel off has created a new eye shape i'm just going to get this brush that i used to like pack on the color and i'm going to use this goom drop color and just really coat my whole freaking eyelid with this color and just really make sure that, that is on like that is not going to budge i just want the glorious pigment i want this to just look mm, so stunning that when people see this on the instagrams people are like oh what is that magnificence? So good that Tim Burton is like, oh, we have to cast you in our new movie. We have not written the movie yet, but like we are so inspired by your beauty, by your characterizations, by your just artistry that we must make a film and have you featured in the film. I don't care if it is cartoon, I don't care if it is a live action, but either way, this is now the second kind of video where I have said, hey, Producers, directors, screenwriters, people that work in the film and television industry. You're missing out, baby cake! Now that that color is nice and packed on, I'm just going to go back in with the purple that I have no idea what name it is, and a different fluffy brush, and I'm just going to blend out the edges so it is less harsh, less savage. I want to be soft, ethereal, dainty. Because peel off can be 
dainty. Oh, I don't want it at the mag. Do I want it? Oh, that is actually kind of easier to see. Maybe I don't want it at the magnification. I'm just going to get a different smart brush and get the color Jawbreaker. And I'm just going to put like a little lightning bolt shape in the middle of it so that there is a bit of shimmer, a bit of what? to this character because I want a good bit of what? You want something from Pilo? She give it to you 10,000%. None of this holding back. None of this like, oh, I guess I will do that later. No, no, no. You do this now. You want something done? You do it yourself and you do it now, now. None of this later kind of boulder squaddle. My new lids are looking perfect, fabulous. So now that the top half is done, I'm going to be working on the bottom half. So I want to extend my like the white part of my eyeball, I don't know what that is called, I know pupil, iris, and white. So whatever the white part is scientifically called, I'm going to be extending that. So I'm going to be a little bit more doll-like. So I'm just going to get, once again, some white body paint. I'm just going to get a little brush and I am just going to paint on my new under eye. And then let that dry so that I can put on some more eye chalks. See, this system can be simple. It is just all about the control of my hands in the mirror and please sir stop shit! Now that that is done I'm just going to get my smudge brush and then that dark purple color again and I'm just going to try and buff it underneath the way that I would usually do like that part of my eyes that way like there's there's some consistency there's some realism I just I just want everything to come together smoothly and just ever so beautifully. Now that that is all nice and blended, I am going to do my brows. So when it comes to brows, I am just going to use a nice black body paint and I am going to give myself some good little arches. I want to have some very like cartoon caricature kind of brows. So we are going to... Almost like divine, if that makes sense. But I do love that. I'm doing this side like a little smaller one. That way it is kind of like I have a raised brow and I, I intend to have some sass. Now the brows are looking oh so sassy. Look at the amount of attitude that these give you. Oh, hello. Are you talking to Pilof? Oh, you wouldn't dare talk to Pilof unless you had a good argument to debate her on how she is wrong. Which like you're going to lose because Pilof is always right. If you look at a lot of like Tim Burton characters, above their eyelid they still have a lot of shadowing if that makes sense. So I'm just going to get the darkest purple color which is like a midnight purple and then this fluffy brush that still has some pink on them from one of my other tutorials. And then I'm just going to try and shade in. Where did my mirror go? Oh there it is. And then I'm just going to try and shade in between the brow and the eyelid that I have created. You just want a little bit of shading, just enough like the Tim Burton effect is really there. Okay, now that that is all on, you can really see the face starting to come together. And Pilaf is so freaking excited. Look at, look at, look at my face. I am just... Pilaf is outstanding. Now the Pilaf has had that little moment, we are just going to do some eyeliner. So I'm going to do liner. I'm going to try and attempt to do it a little bit straighter than usual and just... I'm going to emphasize the line. Oh, I just. The liner for this is going to be the hardest liner I have ever had to do in my life. And I've had to do some pretty hard liners, but that is okay. I am always up for a challenge. I am always prepared to have a messy time with the liner. So, the way the peel off does her eyeliner, if you're not new, let us have a bit of an intimate moment and clock the cracking of my white body paint it is just it is it is trash so if you're not new here hello baby cakes welcome back to the channel welcome back to another welcome to makeups we are so happy to have you here and if you're new here hello welcome to the chaos i'm sorry that you had to enter on this on this makeups tutorial <laughs> i swear there are more like sane kinds of tutorials i just i lost my marbles a bit but that is okay so the way that peel off does her eyeliner if you're not new cross everything and pray for peel off safety if you are new here the way that i do it is i flick i drag and then i hope for best so someone is drilling in the background I have to fight my family i have to fight my doggies and my kitty cats and now i have to fight the drill I think my neighbor heard me because the drilling stopped. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Pilof is going to get a very angry knock at the door while she is like this. 
and things happen to good people. Okay, so we are going to flick. Okay, I can do this. Flick. That is a good flick. Okay, that is a good cartoon flick. And then drag. Drag. Now that you have got your flick and your drag, just fill in the rest and hope that left eye match up. Which, like, if we have some consistency on this channel, is not going to happen. Left eye is being a pesky little misbehaving baby cake, so like, left eye is in a time out! So, now that left eye has graced our face with that beauty, I am just going to breathe, just calm this. Have a coffee. Now that I've had some coffee and had some time to breathe, I'm going to be doing the bottom eye line with some liner and then I'm just going to do a thin line and then do some fake new lashes. Theoretically. Unless both my eyes are going to be in a time out. Left eye, you will behave this time. Right eye, keep doing what you're doing, baby cakes. You are doing so well. Okay. Okay. Eyes are now looking flawless and it's really starting to come together. Okay, so now that that is all on, I'm going to try and work on like the shapes and everything of my face. So therefore, I'm just going to get the little like mess that I've made in this little pot and then I'm just going to like cover most of my chest and then we are just going to, we're just going to have so much fun, so much magnificence. Like I, I just, I just. I am so happy with this tutorial. I just, I love this look already and just isn't, isn't that the best part of makeups when you have an idea and you're sitting there like, oh, I can make this happen, I can make this work and then it actually starts to come together and then by the end of it I'm sitting there, it's like a Tim Burton kind of character and just everything feels so good because I just, at the end of this, they are going to have to cast me in a movie. So to cover up my cheekbones, I'm just going to do a dark face and then I'm just going to really try and chisel out that section of my face. But I genuinely feel like if I was to be a Tim Burton character, no, when I am a Tim Burton character, when they look at this video and they are like, oh my goodness gracious, we are inspired by Pilaf, we are inspired by this makeup's goddess, how will we do her character, how will we really bring this to the screen, and you know how they will do it? I reckon Pilaf as a Tim Burton character, as a makeup's character, I reckon I would have to be something like Mole from like the Lost City of Atlantis, the one that is like, oh, the death that one okay so like I feel so I would be kind of like that but with the makeups and then like the songs and stuff that I could have could be something that drill is still going you are ruining my audio who sir gave you permission to ruin my audio but I feel as though she would be like the weird, creepy, like fairy godmother that isn't really a fairy godmother. More like a makeup's goddess, makeup's goblin kind of thing. Like I sit in a cave and I have all of these kinds of tools and stuff to make you look beautiful and flawless for like the world to really like understand your essence. But then you piss me off. And then like, oh, what happens then? Peel off, take it away from you. And suddenly you're on stage in this big like speech kind of thing where you're accepting an award or a crown because you marry into like a royal family. And then I'm just like, oh, guess what? What, honey? You pissed me off off? Now you ugly again! Take that, you little... B-I-C-T-H. Exactly in that order. I love that video. Then Pilaf has to think of a song. Pilaf has to think of the song that really like, kind of like Pilaf's, like kind of like the Tim Burton version of Frozen. Like everyone is still singing Let It Go and it is like, you know what you should let go? The love of that song. I'm sick of that song. I love Disney, I love Frozen, but at the same time, so over, please, I am done with it. But like, I want Pilaf version of that song, but like in Tim Burton. And then everyone will be singing that song and then they will meet Pilaf in person and be like, oh my gosh, I love that song. And I'll be like, I know you love that song. Because I am Pilaf and I know what you need. You need a song from Pilaf. I'm going to think about this song Yes, I do my contour and then the next clip is just going to be me singing a song She dared to come inside my home and think to herself she could have my throne but what she forgets is that what I give? I always take back and no one is safe from my attack! Something like that. I don't know. Just off the top.
top of my head. <laughs> Attack. Now that all the contouring is done, I'm just going to go in with the highlighting. So I'm just going to use my BYS Berries palette because that is the most fallouty, and I feel as though on a look like this, it is going to be the easiest to kind of work with to get that highlighter on. I just do not want to ruin my princess cut highlight with some unfortunate body paint just getting stuck into it. And then do a dark face. Mm, yes! Now that that is all on, I'm going to go in with the lips and then I'm going to go in with the carving of my face and my shoulders just so that I have like more of a Tim Burton-esque kind of like silhouette, if that makes sense. But for my lips, I am going to be using the weird old Jeffree Star lipstick because I love it. But at the moment, I just want to outline it with some black body paint so that I don't get any body paint on the actual lipsticks because like, as I said, I don't want to ruin my good makeup just because this does not want to dry. So I am just going to stop talking and I am just going to outline some lips. I think I'm going to go for lips that are a bit more voluminous than usual and have a few more curves to it. Well, that did not work. This brush is trash want to start filling in I guess the the like staple things of a Tim Burton character which include a very very skinny neck I did that completely wrong I really should have done the contouring after I did the body paint but oh well we live and we learn it's per usual be go get it away but at this point in time no one's really no one's really surprised. The real wow factor of feel of getting carried away is like, it's, it's long gone. So now that that is all on, now that this is all done, I want to get onto the eye paper. So I left this to last because I know that these are just going to get in the way. I'm just going to use my guillotine just to curl my lashes but not pinch my actual skin or eye. Especially not with a contact lens in it. Cute little coat of mascara. Okay, so when I say eye paper, I mean literally eye paper. So because I don't have like huge lashes, I just, I'm going to make them myself. So just get yourself some craft paper. So I'm just going to cut little, little, little strips, but long little strips. And then just to give them a bit more of a ooh la la, what I want to do is I want to curl them. Put your thumb ever so delicately on the blade and then just do that and they curl! Oh, I love that trick! Then once you have enough paper, just get yourself some eye feather glue and then we are just going to put a little helping on the little bendy up bit that you have made. And we want this to be nice and tacky. Okay, I think it is going to be tacky enough and I am just making sure that there is still a nice curl to it. And then we just want to stick it on. Oh, these are ridiculous! Okay. Do not make them that long. Oh, I cannot cut this now that this is on my face. Peel off. Oh, I love it. Okay, cool. Now that that one is on, just do it like however many more times that you want to do it and put it all on your face. And then, and then fix your hair and we are done. With our eye papers now on and our hair now fixed, we are done. And look at us. Oh, this is probably my favorite to date. I love this. And like the fun thing about my lashes at the moment, if I blink, they bounce, 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 bounce. My eyes are like a trampoline. <laughs> but just to give this the full effect, we need to change our background. <gasps> Boom! And look at that! Ah! Oh, peel off, peel off, peel off, peel off! <laughs> I'm just, I am so happy with this one. This one, this one to date is probably one of my favorites. I just, I cannot, I just, Okay, breathe, peel off. I am screaming so much that like I am starting to get lightheaded. Or just these lashes like completely weighing down my face. I don't know what it is, but either way, I am so I am so happy with how this turned out. Oh, Tim Burton, you know what? I just I don't care what the part is. Like I will take the job because at this point, this is my resume. I think peel off has managed to give herself like a borderline like excited like anxiety attack, a happy attack. A happy attack. That works. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Oh, but now, now that our face is looking ooh, so car, so illustrated, our chest is looking a little bit busted. I am not going to lie. But our eye papers on and really just—it's just 
just enhanced the look. Our eyebrows looking ever so saucy and our hair now like a part of the actual look. Now that that is all said and done and we are looking fabulous and because Pilaf is now a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, there is only one thing left to do and that is a sexy, a slow mouse. <laughs>